hard-fought game today. Uh, you know, it's a good team. Um, had a good defensive plan against us uh, and, and really, you know, made us work today. Uh, obviously, we didn't have an answer uh, for Elena uh, in the post, and we really haven't had one the last three years that we've been here. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions, I'll take them. Um, glad we made free throws today. Uh, we were 8 of 17 the other day. To go 17 for 20 today was quite a bit better. It was good to see L um, step out and make some threes in the first half. Heaven had a great second half. Uh, we needed those guys to step up, uh, and our starters played huge minutes today. Uh, just felt like they were in a groove and did a really good job there late uh, in the game. You're winning games you probably should win. What's that, what's that say to this team? Well, I hope uh, that that's just another, you know, in our progression as, as a program, Jeff, that we're getting to a point where, um, you know, you see teams and you expect to win uh, and know that if you play well, you should win. At the same time, winning's hard against anybody. Uh, and, and you can tell in our league, there's a whole bunch of teams that can beat each other. Um, you look at home records, everybody's winning at home uh, at a pretty high rate. Uh, the difference is going to be what do you do on the road uh, in league play. Uh, and we'll get an opportunity to see what we can do next week. Fourth quarter. I mean, uh, good teams win the fourth quarter. Yeah. yeah uh, I, th I thought, you know, again, Heaven was really good. Um, you know, she got a little chippy out there, and that gets her blood boiling, and then she gets a little fiery, and, and she wants to make plays. And, um, you know, sometimes that's been to the detriment uh, of her sometimes. But now as she's gotten older, she's used that in a, in a positive way. Uh, usually means some shots are about to go in. She made some good plays there. Um, you know, Schulte didn't have maybe a great day offensively, but I thought she was terrific on, on uh, Grace Caves, uh, who torched us here last year as a freshman. Um, she didn't get a lot done today. Uh, I think Schulte was pretty phenomenal on her on the defensive end. Um, and then Taylor, uh, again, had a good second half. We're able to go to her a little bit when they were playing smaller uh, and executed down the stretch some things we were looking for. Jory, L was quiet Thursday, but just I know that's going to be the up and down of a freshman. Just uh, when her confidence is going, like when she makes an early shot, how big is that? Well, I think it's good for her. I mean, you guys watched. There was two others. I mean, she was making shots and then passed up a couple other shots. And, and, you know, she came off a stagger and was wide open and passed it and then got it back and shot that one. And, um, you know, that's just a, a mentality. She's one that's still feeling out at this level, when to expect shots and where am I going to get them. And, um, you know, that's a feel thing. And just more games, more experience for her. Uh, it looks good coming out of her hand. I like her shooting all of them. Um, you know, we believe in her. Uh, you know, Heaven missed a bunch early, too. I mean, I, she finished with 26, but probably could have had, you know, 36 uh, if she knocks down a couple early. Uh, but you know that's not going to last very long with her. Be 6-1 and one at this point, knowing you got the next three on the road. Describe that of being this high up. It has not happened in Division One basketball for the Bison. Yeah, uh, you know, that's just – that's where we are. That's where we want to be. That's where we're striving to be. Um, you know, that's what I wanted to come here and do. Um, is is to help this place get competitive and compete for Summit League championships. And we got miles to go, Dom. I mean, we got miles to go. But the wheels are turning. We're getting the right people in here. We have a great staff. Um, we're all on the same page. It's just the development is happening, um, and we're seeing some, some fruits of that labor now. Uh, but at the same time, there's three road games. And I just said everybody's winning at home. Uh, if you're going to want to be there – you got to be able to go steal some on the road, and they're all going to be dogfights. You know it. Those are going to be possession by possession games late in those. Um, and I, I like our team and, and how we've handled those so far. So hopefully we can continue it. Good. Thank you. Having a 14 threes today. What's that say about this team? Uh, we're, we're a confident team. Uh, we know that we all are capable of shooting a three. Uh, so it was cool to see that we all stepped into it with confidence and knocked them down. Fourth quarter, shaking this team. What, what was that like out there? Yeah, it was physical, um, but we just stuck together as a team. Um, we don't really let that bother us, and we just got to outwork them and uh, make passes that are super crisp and uh, execute our offense. Alice, the first go around in the summer league. What has it been like so far through the first half? What, is, what has it been? What you thought? Um, definitely not what I thought, but I mean, it definitely took some getting used to. I will say, but you know, I couldn't have kind of done this without like my teammates and my coaches so I'm just happy where I'm at. Got like that to start to get a couple what does that mean for your rhythm that you made one and then got it going from there? 
I mean, once you make one, it's huge. It just builds your confidence, and credit to my teammates for finding me when I have the hot hand, so. Evan, I asked Jory about it. I know I've talked to you about this as well. It's the best start the Bison have had in Summit League play in Division One history. Describe that and where you're at through the first seven games. Yeah, it's it's a great feeling. Uh, I can't explain it, uh, especially for Jory and me. We've been uh, through our ups and downs. Um, and just having um, all these people in here who genuinely have fun um, and all love each other, it just, it's just a whole different experience, and it's super awesome to be a part of it. You know the, the toughness of going on the road. What do you tell for Al for they're going to go through this for the first time now for the next couple of weeks going on the road? Yeah, it's definitely hard. I mean, you're starting class, and um, you're in the middle of Summit League play, and it's always up and down. I mean, a team on the road can steal one, and uh, we could steal one, too, from them. Uh, so it's just up and down. You just got to stick together, uh, stick to your routines, and uh, just play your heart out. What kind of matchup problems your teammate there create for other teams? Yeah. I can throw up a lob to Ellen. She'll catch it. So <laughs> that kind of speaks for itself. <laughs>